guys, it's Steve from Sarah Designs. Today we're doing a haul video. It's a Timu haul. Yes, we like Timu a lot. A uh, little less lately than we used to, and I'll get into that in a second, but um, a lot of it's my fault. Um, anyway, anyway, way to start this one out, me. I was gonna cut it and start over, but we're gonna keep it going. Um, I placed two orders for Timu, uh, a couple household items, and of course some crafting items. Um, lately, if you if you're if you if you've been watching my channel, you know that I am I've taken on the daunting task of trying to catalog and organize all of my stamps. Well, I have big like shoe boxes full of stamps. Um, that I collected over the years and I am now stamping every single one of them and cataloging them and put, putting them in their order and it's just it's I got through one box so far and it's just such a daunting task I hate it so I swore to myself I wasn't going to buy another stamp so I got it all organized and see what I have um I didn't stay true to that so you'll see in a second um so really quick I do have some household items here Really quickly, I did want to go over some of the stats as far as Timu goes. They do offer free shipping. This is not sponsored at all. I placed, now in the, in the past, you place your order. They, they offer free shipping at an, um, and then you get your order within two weeks or they give you a $5 credit, which happened to me once. Um, and you would get your order pre pretty quickly, history has shown. And they were using... I forget the company they use to deliver, but now they're using different different shipping methods. Uh, the one order I have here, they ha they used on track, and the other order that's still coming, and I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. They or they used Pitney Bowles. I guess they all go through the USPS, United States Postal Service. I'm not sure about that 100%. For those of you that are in the United States, you might be able to tell me. But the tracking information that I used to get would be daily. And I placed this first order on January 10th. It got delivered on the 24th. So we're going to get into what I ordered real quick. And I will show you. Oh, I got a price adjustment. I did receive quite a few price adjustments on here. They changed their format for price adjustments as well. Um, for the the two orders that I've done thus far, the let, the one I'm going to show you today and the one that's coming up whenever that gets delivered, I have got received a total five dollars and thirty five cents in price adjustments. So that I like. All right, Taco came up on the sofa here to say hi. So, all right. We're going to go through what we ordered and I'm going to tell you the prices that I ordered and then I will try to try to see my order. I will try to link them below if they're if they're currently available. Um, if they're not available, I, I could somebody did show me how you can see what the description is, even though it says unavailable currently unavailable. So we'll see if I can do that. Okay. First things first. They packaged it pretty good. I did take, I did open it already just to see if everything was in there. And it is. First things first is I love my Timu towels. And I know I was going to take them out of the bag. I hate this sound. I love Timu rags. These are a different style than the ones I had. But they're super soft. There's one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three. There's only five. One, two, three. It says a 10 piece set for $1.78. I got five. Let me see if there was an option to do others. No. I got five. It says 10 pieces. One, two, three, four, five. See what I mean? I thought I was getting 10 pieces for $1.78. I only got five. Okay. Um, Five piece. All right. Anyway, the quantity of these are phenomenal. Yes, they're small. They're like little washcloths. They're super, super soft. 
They absorb a lot. I use these in the craft room. I use these in my bathroom. I use these everywhere and anywhere. I love these. They wash really well. They wear really well. I have another set somewhere. Well, they're throughout the house, but I love them. Thought I was getting 10. I thought it was a bargain for $1.78. So, mm, I liked them, yes, for $1.78. No, not so much. That's disappointing. But anyway, I got those. Next item. Okay. This is extremely disappointing, guys. Extremely. I ordered this. You see the faucet? It's a faucet. Oh. Hold on now. I'm trying to do this. It has this little... You're supposed to be able to flip the thingy. So you can flip it. You can do the long flip it and flip it. And it was $6. Now it's $4.37. I was so excited about this. And I get it. And I opened it. When it came. A little box. And I opened it. Here's a little. This is all it comes with. This little piece. That's the faucet I got. That is not that. It does do. I need to push it. I don't know what all these do. We're going to try it. We're going to hook it up in the kitchen and see what's what. And hopefully Will doesn't kill me because hopefully I don't mess it up. But I was expecting this. This is the advertisement that I used. I got just this as sarah said when i was complaining to her on the phone last night did you read the description i was like are you new around here <laughs> do i ever read a description i assume i did look through to see look this is the they don't advertise the other one at all no, I didn't read the description. And it does say here, if you go to put it in your cart, which I can't do it right now for some reason, it does give you the option of this or that one. My fault. We're gonna try it. We're gonna hook it up. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go on a road trip over to my sink in a second. Okay. Next thing, <laughs> next, I'm trying to do all the household stuff first and then we'll do the crafty stuff. Next thing is salad. I love salads. I eat a lot of salad, at least one a day. I love lettuce, tomato, olives, love it all. Salad, salad, salad. I was always taught, and I get the heads of lettuce because you get more than you do in the bags. And I was always taught to rinse the lettuce because in the ground there might be parasites, there might be little tiny bugs, there might be um, pesticides on it, whatever. So wash your lettuce. So when my fiance and I got together, I said, you want to make a salad? He's like, sure, cool. And then he's like, mm, are you washing this lettuce? And I was like, of course I am. And he says, can you not wash mine? And I was like, why? And he said he doesn't like wet lettuce. So I was like, that's odd. But I didn't realize that it was wet. Sorry, I had to dog him. So I was like, I didn't realize that it was wet. So ever since then, anytime I wash my lettuce, you know, it's wet. And then when I eat my salad, it's gross. Because he put it in my head. So I tried to wet it and then pat it with paper towel. But then you're getting the fiber from the paper towel. And it's just a whole thing. So, um... Do I still eat lettuce? Yes. Do I wash my lettuce now? Nope. Because it just it's in my head now. So anyway, I wanted a salad spinner. I'm going to try it out. We got one from Timu. No bag stuff to it. What did we pay for this contraption? It's right now on there for $6.29. I paid $4.98. The dog's going to knock over the tripod. I paid $4.98. It's on there for a little bit more money. That's, that's ridiculous. But anyway. 
It says 629. Why is that 629? I don't know, guys. That's what I'm saying about Timo. It's hit or miss, hit or miss. So we're going to wash this out. We're going to see if it works. We're going to have a salad for lunch. So we're going to go over to the kitchen in a minute. All right, before we keep, before we go over there, we're going to go over our crafty items, which is not a lot, and we're going to go upstairs. We're going to take a field trip upstairs after we're done with the kitchen to try out the crafty stuff. So, first things first on that list is, you got to get down, Taco. You got to get down, honey. All right. If you're, if you're in the know with my channel, you'll know that I am going to be starting to do some scrapbooking. And I've been starting to collect the items to scrapbook, but I need to get pictures. I have pictures, but I don't have them printed out. And my printer uses up too much ink and it just, it's, it's a mess. I don't want to print them at work because I don't want to get fired for using work printer for personal. So I have to order myself a picture printer, which I'm saving up for because I don't have the money for it. And they're expensive. So they can be. Anyway, um, so I saw this. Cute. It's, no, it's not available right now. Look how cute for pictures. So I was like, yeah, let's get that. So I ordered it. It came in $1.78. I paid for it. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. It's little. Oh, do you want to take this out? It's so little, it's so cute though. So I could just put little pictures here, a little picture there. You got the little word bubbles, the smile, little word bubbles. It's cute. Cute enough. I'll use it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I will use it for sure, but it's much smaller than I thought. Again, my fault, because I don't read the directions, the instructions, the descriptions, whatever. All right, that's that one. This one here, I love Hawaiian. I love tropical stuff. I love palm trees. And I can't piss up, piss up. I can't pass up anything with palm trees. This is a metal die cut for $1.98. Now, I've been having not so good luck with their die cuts lately. The bigger ones, the smaller ones are good. This is a little palm tree one with little, what do you call those flowers, the Hawaiian flowers? It's a decent size. Oh, this one sold out too, guys. Jeez. But that's what it cuts. It's so cute. I think it's adorable. It is three and three quarter inches by three inches or 7.7 .7 centimeters by 8.5 centimeters. But it's really cute. So I got that. Alright, let's move this over. What was the dimensions of the other one? Did I even say? I don't think I did. Dime uh, the reason I didn't say the dimensions because they give you the dimensions for the entire width of the whole thing. It's 4.2 inches across or 10.2 centimeters by 7 centimeters or 2.76 down. So, that's that one. Okay. Moving on. You're not going back out. You just were out. No. Okay, this is season for me for birthdays. Both Sarah and Will have birthdays. Will's birthday was last week. Sarah's is this week coming up. I made Will's birthday card. You guys did it with me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me share it with you. And we're going to do Sarah's. She's coming home Friday, so I have to have it done by Friday. So we'll do it this week. So anyway, this is a little cupcake die cut. It's adorable. So cute. They don't have... Oh, they have dimensions here 15.7 centimeters long by five centimeters wide or 1.9 inches wide by 6.18 or 18 inches long it's a pretty big die cut they don't really show it on a card which is fine by me we'll do our own and we paid dollar 79 for this it does have embossing on it too, so we'll see how that works out. So that's that. Next, 
This one's a little, oh, I'm gonna go with this one first. This was $2.98. This is more towards the beachy theme too because I like summer and beachy stuff. And I just said that. I like tropical stuff. So this one here, $2.98. It's this. It's three die cuts. Pretty big. Let me do the dimensions first. It's 4.6 oh, this way by... Four inches wide so it's four inches tall ow oh I just cut my finger on that oh my gosh I just got a mess of paper be careful that just cut me like straight up cut me okay we're going to do some first aid in a minute uh <laughs> it's three pieces and it's sharp if this doesn't cut we got problems all right here oh my god I can't believe that thing just got me anyway there's the picture of what you can do with it. Really not much. I mean, it's basically that. We'll see. We'll play with it. I'll play with it and see what else I could do with it. I don't know what else. I mean, you could use this as a border, I guess. I'm afraid to touch it now. I'm going to have to... Right here. Yeah, right here. I'm going to have to file that down. Ugh. Anyway, that was that one. All right. Another die cut, which is extremely disappointing. Again, my fault. It was a dollar... Oh, it was 89 cents. I should have known. 89 cents. All right. Look. So cute, right? It looks like you have, like, Polaroids hanging on... Hanging on a clothesline. Okay. It says it's... And I didn't read it. I just, I, I look, I look at pictures. I just assume from the picture. The pictures are deceiving on here, guys, on a lot of places. 8.4 centimeters or 3.3 long ways. So it's only three inches wide by, how about we put these on? By 3.5, 3.5. Or 1.37 inches. Okay. Look at this little tiny thing. It is so little. Guys, oh, it's tiny. Look at it. It's, it's tiny. Teeny tiny. Like, the picture will be, look, it's the size of my thumbnail. Like, uh, what am I going to do with that? What am I seriously going to stick in there? Little teeny tiny stamps. Stamp some teeny tiny stamps. <clears throat> I mean, even if I shrink down a picture that tiny, who's going to see that? Guys, that's, look, that's little. I can't even, I don't even, the camera's not doing it justice for how little this thing is. Like, it's little. Trust. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Let me know if you have an idea what to do with this. What I can stick in it. Alright. I'm not bleeding, so I think we're okay. Alright. Next item. I I messed up. Again. Hey, guys. Guess what? I messed up. What else is new? This was... a $1.78. And it's a snow globe thing. And I wanted it at Christmas time and I didn't get it. And then I was like, you know what? I'll still get it for next year. It's a little snow globe stamp. It's adorable. It's a decent size, guys. Look how nice. Has this little thingy here that you can... I wish I had a piece of white something. That you can like put words or something in here and then put it around here. It gets the snow for in here and the snow and the snow. And it's really cute. It's a decent size. It is, let's see the size. Hold on. I got a cat over here knocking stuff over. Um, 16 centimeters tall, tall or 6.3 inches tall by 11 centimeters wide or 4.3. Now, mind you, is that this whole thing or because this thing's not six inches? It's a decent size. But in true D fashion, I hit it twice and got two. So one of them's going to Sarah. 
something else is now. All right, the last item that I got, and then we're going to go on a field trip over to the kitchen, and then we're going to go on a field trip upstairs to do the crafty stuff. The, this is going to be a long one, guys, sorry. I could split it up into two. I don't know. I won't. Let's just do one big one. All right, this one here is a four-piece sentiment stamp with one frame stripe tag. I did not read the instructions. I was pleasant, I just spit, sorry. I was pleasantly surprised that I got them the way I got them. All right, it's right now it's $5.48. I paid $6.48, so it's a dollar off. Um, anyway, here's what it looks like. I thought I was only gonna get one or the other. I didn't realize, to my surprise, they give you both which I'm happy about because I was, I sat on the sofa the one day and I read, here's what you can do with it. I read every single sentiment and I was like, which one would I use more? And it came with both. And I didn't even notice that I didn't pick. So anyway, I've never had one of these before. What you do with them, it has these little dots. And you see the little dots there. And then it has these little dots here. So you just line up the dots. Make sure the dots are in with the dots. And you're good. So you would stamp, obviously. The little dots will stamp out. And then you cut through your die cut. And it cuts out perfectly. And then I was looking at this today before I started this video. And I was like, oh, it has like really cool words on here. Like, with love, miss you, best wishes, happy birthday. For my fabulous friends, sending you hugs. Uh, send you hugs. Sending you a bucket full of kisses. So you could cut off, not actually cut it off, but just like wipe off, sending you a bucket full and then just cut the word, do the word hugs and put that in there instead. Like you could mix and match these pretty good. I wouldn't actually physically cut them, but I would just like block it off. A big thank you. Life is better with friends. I miss your smile. You could say I miss your hugs. You could like mix and match this. So this was a friggin' this... I honestly thought the faucet was going to be my favorite haul of the haul. This is my favorite so far. We'll try it out upstairs. My favorite crafty haul. So, that said, let's go to the kitchen, guys. And it's just right there. It's not a far walk. Don't worry. We're going to go to the kitchen, and we're going to try out this faucet. And then we're going to try out the salad thing because it's lunchtime here. So why don't you come with me? I'll see you over there. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. Here is the faucet. Don't judge my mess. We live here. There's our snow. <laughs> I hate it. Anyway, here's the faucet. There's the piece. I hope you guys can see. I hope I don't break it. It did not come with instructions. I'm assuming, all right, it came like this, as you guys may have seen. It didn't come with any washers. I think they're already in it. So this is metal chrome. This is plastic. I don't think oil is going to like this too much. But, all right, screw it on. You saw me do that. Screw, oh, this comes off easily. And it's dirty. Oh, let's clean that real quick, shall we? I wonder if that was supposed to be there. Is that like some kind of caulk or gunk, or is that just yuck? I'm gonna say it's yuck. Yeah, it's yucky, yuck. Okay. That was all that was. Yeah, that's some nasty stuff. Okay. This has a little screen in it. Please fit. Am I doing it the wrong way? Maybe we should take this off first.
Do we have different sinks than everybody else in the world, or are they all universal? Oh, it's going. Oh, I was getting it. I was getting it. My hands are wet and it's slipping. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, I don't know why this is on me. This goes on easy. Oh, it swivels. All right, ready? Woohoo, it works, doesn't leak. That part works. Pressure sucks. Oh! Oh, that is super cool, guys. I didn't know that's what that was. You hold it down, though. That's your pressure. I don't like that it's not up. So if you go to put a glass, you're like up and up. He's not going to like this at all. To fill a bowl, a container. Leaking out of there a little bit there. Don't worry, I won't waste the water. I think it's going to take a lot to get used to. I put it in the water bowl for the dogs. Okay. That's going to take some getting used to. I don't see Will liking that. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> see what happens. All right, that's that. I think that's a win, even though it's not what I expected. Now let's rinse this off, and we're going to make lunch. So I'll be right back. I figured I'd show you guys. It comes in several pieces. So I took it apart. Now I'm going to fill it. And rinse it. <gasps> Using the new... We'll see how this works out. I like this power stream. I just don't like that it's awkward in the sink. I wish it was up higher. Yeah, he's gonna hate this. Using hot water. It does splash water everywhere. The whole thing's getting wet. Are you guys getting wet? Sorry about that. You need a towel? There. Papa's barking at somebody. Today is Monday, and I'm home from work today because I had a bit of a stomach bug. Saturday started. Yesterday, everything I ate came back up. Today, my stomach's very tender, but I haven't eaten yet. Salad will be the first thing. I probably shouldn't eat salad on the upset stomach, but I started on a probiotic, and I think that might be what's messing with, with my stomach. Now this pressure's phenomenal with extra water on it. Things a little rough. Yeah, if you have both spigots on, faucets on, spray good. Okay, let me get my salad out. Let me. 
Let me dry things up here a bit and get my salad out, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Here's my lettuce. Told you I like the round iceberg lettuce. Yeah, you know, how does this thing work? That goes in there. This has a little notchy thing in there. See? There's a little gear, so I'm assuming that goes in there, yeah. Right? I've never used one of these before, so I don't know how it works. Lettuce. All right. All right. Over there for now. Okay. All right, it's on there. It's got a little hole here for some cold water. No, that's not right because I think I got to rinse it first. That wouldn't make any sense. So we're rinsing. This is empty. That's in there. This goes on top. It's on there good. No? Do I not have it on right? this thing have to be in a certain way? Well, it's a pain in the ass. What am I doing wrong? Why won't it work? Do these go in there? This thing sucks. I really wanted it to work. So, you go like that. Of course, this had no instructions either. Oh, I got it in there. I don't know how. We're going now. We just had to get it in there just so. I don't think I'll be able to do that again, though. We're spinning. There's water coming out. There's water in the bottom. See the water came out it does work it's a pain in the ass and what's this little hole for to add more water to it i guess i'd probably be able to find one at goodwill that would work less clumsy than this one. all right let's see So what? We did take out that though. I guess it's okay. I don't know. I don't know that I'll use it. Honestly. If you guys have one, let me know how it worked out for you. 
So, that being said, let me clean up this mess. Uh, and then we are going to... We're going to head upstairs in a minute. And we're going to check out the die cuts and the crafty stuff. So, I'll see you up there in a second. Do you guys want some salad? Semi-dry. Want lunch? All right, guys. It's lunchtime. Real quick, I'm going to eat and then we're going to go upstairs. I know it's not good for my stomach, but. I wanted to test out the lettuce. I do have dressing on it. It still tastes wet. Not as bad. So, I want to try to keep using that thing and see how it works out. All right, see you upstairs. All right, guys, we are now up in the craft room. Welcome back. And I had a catastrophe, another one. That same die sliced my finger here, and this one actually bled. The other one's not too bad. But anyway, I didn't want to go downstairs to get a Band-Aid, so I used what I had, tape and tape, or tissue. Anyway, we are going to try out these die cuts that we got. Be careful with them, people. As we see, they are, can be very sharp. This is the culprit. Got me twice, this piece right here. So I'm going to be super careful, but I am taking him apart. And I am going to use my snips to, these are jewelry cutting little thingies. Sarah and I used to make jewelry. And they come in handy. So, cut off some more sharp stuff so we don't get cut even more. Okay. He went down there. And then I like to try to cut these guys off, but they do fly across the room. Which is dangerous because I have a kitty cat that walk around. I have one that lives in this room. Luckily, she stays in her little area, and I'm not near that area. So, I'm afraid to vacuum in here lately because this section, like by my desk, because I was doing a birthday card. And it had candles, the stamp had candles, and the candle part of it had the flame, it was a separate little stamp. There was two of them. And I used it, and it fell off of my, my uh, stamp, what do you call that thing? The stamp block. It fell off went somewhere I felt it hit my my foot as small and tiny and, and little as it was I still felt it hit my foot but for the life of me I can't find it it's super tiny and I really want it so I'm afraid to vacuum under my desk so what I've been doing is whenever I had to vacuum or whenever I need it felt the need to I Get on my hands and knees and just pick stuff up with my hands and go until I find it. It'll probably be across the room somewhere. I did check to see if it was stuck on me because, you know, we, we always end up going downstairs and there's like a stamp we were looking for for hours is stuck on our elbow. So, anyway, I looked. Didn't find it. Can't find it. Still looking for it. And it's been a while. All right. Which one should we do first? Let's use... These are small enough that they'll go into this little spellbinders little guy. The other one's big and heavy and pain in the ass. Let's do the cupcakes. I was hoping it would fit on there. It does not fit on there. It'll fit on there. All right. This has some embossing features in it too. So I don't know. Will that fit there? Yeah. I don't know if I have to put an embossing pad. In there as well. I simply don't know. Let's just see what happens here. 
like I said, when we were downstairs, for the most part, I had good luck with the little stamps. It's the bigger, or stamps, the little dies. It's the bigger ones from Timu that don't cut right. See, that one didn't cut quite straight through. A little star. So let's try this again. Some people say do it with the cutting side up, but I can't see. I got another cut from that thing. That's dangerous. I can't see when it's this way. Well, I can't see the other way either, honestly. No, it still didn't cut. Or is it not supposed to cut that? No, it's supposed to cut. Try a different cutting plate. I'm doing it wrong. That feels better. I was using the embossing plate. It says it right on it. Please? Please? There we go. A little bit. No? No, these little things still didn't come out. Hmm. <laughs> I think these little things are supposed to come out. Yeah. So that didn't cut too well. I wonder if it's my machine. I keep saying that. But you know what? When I buy other stuff, it works. So I don't know. All right, that one sucked. Let's try the one that says small. I should cut these out too, huh? Oh, shoot. Where'd that thingy go? Timo got me again with the, their advertisement. With their pictures. You think I'd know by now. How many videos in is this now that I've done this? It's very deceitful, though, and I don't like that. And then we look at the reviews, because I've been doing that lately, and people are like, it's just as I expected. The size was exactly how they said. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Because they read the instructions, the directions, the description. This is gonna this could kill somebody this sucker these are not good all right and this little guy should come out too you guys really want to sit here and watch me do we're not gonna do that one we're gonna cut this big guy we'll see what happens hey big guy how are you you gonna cut for us properly Sounds like it did. It did. Oh, and you got a square bonus. You need a square. Cute. So I could put a picture. No, see, I couldn't. This is what my printer does. Yeah, you could put like a little picture in there. That'd be cute. Okay, that worked. Let's see the word smile. We'll cut it out of this little square. Yes, I see that sharp piece. We're going to go forwards and backwards with this one. Ah! 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute, too. You'd have to keep the innards. Very thin, delicate, cute. Yep. I like it, like it, like it. That's cute. Okay, that worked out good. That was a win. I'm not going to do all the little pieces. Okay, you're you. I'm really anxious to do this one. That won't fit in this one. We'll have to do this in the big one. Let's do this guy. Get him out of the way. He scares me. I'm going to put a warning on him. So if Sarah comes by and plays, she won't slice herself. She's coming this weekend. I'm so excited. She's going to be spending some time with her friends too, though. But at least I get her. She was supposed to come last weekend, but we had a snowstorm. She lives up the mountains, and usually snows more there than it does here. We got like eight inches. She got like two this time around. Careful. Cute. Okay, I like you. Even though you cut me, I like you. I do like you. Let's get different color cardstock. And... Oh, this one's sharp, too. We'll do the blue. For you, these are just scraps out of my scrap bin. And if you really wanted to get creative and whatnot, you can save the little dots out of the little bubbles I'll show you in a second out of this thing and you can put them like in a shaker card or something I don't know or throw them in the trash whatever oh I like you I really like you. Where'd your friend go? These could be borders, too. I said that downstairs. All right, let's try the next piece in a different color steel. These aren't going to match because I'm just grabbing randoms out of my scrap bin. Wasn't there three pieces to that? Yeah, there you are. Alright, we're going to use you. Because you're the only other one that's long enough in that scrap bin right there. So It's going to look really awkward, but we'll at least see what it looks like together. Oh, and you get more bubbles. That cut out really good. I like this a lot. That's adorable. Well worth it. I don't know about the stitches, but I like it. Let me see how that works. You can even do that like that. And then under there. Oh, there's oh that could be a cute border there. You can do a couple more of these. Do, 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 do. Cute. There's so much we could do with this one. I like you even though you cut me. I think you got me again. Son of a god. I'm gonna have to grind that down. Alrighty, that's adorable. Next is this one, this little teeny tiny one. Let's see how you do. Let's cut you off. 
You guys, I'm keeping you for such a long time today. I apologize. Timu disappoints me a lot lately. I am um, sad to say. I'm going to roll back and forwards with this one. Um, just because I didn't feel like reaching over there. <laughs> I want to reach over there to get it. It's too far. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, oh, that cut really good. See? See, see, see. And you get little baby squares with this one. Oh, adorable. That really is cute. Really, really cute. But what are you sticking there? We're going to play with this. Not now, but... And you got little squares. Cute. Alright. Now we're going to go over to the big guy. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut out... I'm going to cut this guy out. And then I'm going to stamp the stats we have. And then cut this guy out. And see what's what. So we'll be back. Alright guys, this one did not... This is disappointing. This one did not cut too well either. This was... This is what I got. I tried to shim it. I tried to move it every which way. It started to work. And then I try to put it back through again. The taco's going crazy. Alright guys, I ran this through a couple times. I shimmed it. I ran it through my big kick. And it did not cut well at all. I moved it every which way. That's disappointing because I was really, it's the same stuff that stuck. Really looking forward to this one. So I'll have to play with this one again. I'm going to have to put it in the pile of the crappy Timu dies. That stinks. <clears throat> All right. Let's do some stamping. Let's stamp out this guy first, the snow globe. I haven't had any problems with Timu's, I should say yet, with Timu's stamps, yet. So, piece of paper. Just cut a slice off. stamp pad here. I'm looking forward to this one, actually. They come off real easily. They don't smell weird. Stokey. The ink we will use will be our good old standby Versafine. Got a lot in the middle there, but okay. New globe it up. Perfect. Oh, except you do want to clean off that middle. All right. When you stamp it, you definitely want to clean off the inside. Or try not to stamp it on there. Let's try it on the other side. And don't get your hands in it. You want to be gentle. That's a big space in there that you can get. The ink pad will fit in, so. Try it on the other side. Ta-da! Beautifuls!
Then we can put a little word in there if you want it. Like, I don't know what word, but let's just, oh. That's why I wear glasses. <laughs> what a mess. This is bad today. It's bad every day. I keep saying I have no business doing videos. But I do them anyway. Because I like them. I like meeting you guys. Look how cute. That's adorable. Okay. Glasses are still on, guys. No worries. No worries. I got this. All right. This piece here, I think, would fit perfectly there. Because these would just be, like, random snowflakes. Okay. Oh. Here's one I was looking for. This is my favorite from Stampin' Up. Of course, you wouldn't have to do this in the same color. I just want to see how they stand. There's snow. And the taco. Every time I do a video, she decides to make her presence known. She's barking at, we have a shared driveway with our neighbor. So it's either the neighbors out there doing something, which I'm pretty sure they're at work slash school, or the mailman, or my other Timu packages here. These can kind of go around the side. So these kind of give you a little more concentrated stamping. They stamp well. That was the point. It's not playtime day. It's it's try out stuff time. Okay. That's a win. Huge win. Good job, Timu, on your stamps. But somebody had told me... This one's going to Sarah, like I said. I'll be back. Okay. As soon as I turn the camera off, she stopped. Alright, we're going to try this one. We're just going to grab a random one. Oh, they're separate. They cut them separate. I like that. So it's easy to... That's good. Say, I like their stamping game. They have the double thing there. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hard to get off. It's really stuck on there. Okay, it's off. I always smell for some reason. I don't know why. Or smells it. All right, that's that. Oh, I forgot to prime the other one. Oh well, you guys didn't remind me, so I didn't do it. Let's see. Let's see how this works out. I've never used one of these, but I always wanted one. I'm gonna try to save paper. I'm frugal like that. I put on some stamps on here the other day, and they were all sticky for some reason, and I can't get that off now. And I washed it and scrubbed it. I'll have to get some better cleaner, I guess. Okay. Large diet. Upside down, but that's that. All right, I'm going to take this over to the cutting machine, and hopefully this cuts. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I heard crick crack and Uncle Jack with that one. Whatever that means. It this cut perfectly. I don't understand. And this is a fairly large die, so I don't get it. It even cut the little circles out. But really, seriously, if you guys don't have one of these, I do recommend getting it. It was well worth the money. And all you do, you stamp it, you line these up. I have a magnetic plate on my cutter that I use so I don't have to tape things down. And it just stuck right to it. No problemo. 
cut perfectly fine. You did a great job. So, would I recommend this? Absolutely. We could even do. That's cute. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. That is the video. It was a long one, I know. I apologize. Um, that one needs some work. This one needs some work. I don't even know what I did with this. The die cuts from this one. That's a huge win. Huge win. Huge win. These are good. This one's huge, huge, huge. Highly recommend that. Other than the, the sliced up fingers. This is adorable. Recommend. Adorable. Recommend. I just don't understand. This one. These two. I don't get it. I don't even know what I did. Did I throw them out? I don't even know what I did with the die cuts for that one. Um, okay. Oh, here they are. I threw them over here. Big old fail. And this one, I was excited for this one. That's a shame. Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. I apologize for keeping you for so long. Once again, like I said, um, we have another Timu haul coming. I think it might be downstairs now. So I might be uh, filming another one today and I'll post that later on in the week. Um, what else? The faucet, I'll let you know what Will thinks of the faucet. I'm going to leave it on there and then maybe I can catch him on film to see what he thinks about it. He's probably going to be like, get this off of here. What did you do to the sink? <laughs> we shall see. Um, and what else was downstairs? The salad thing? Not so much. I couldn't really tell the difference, honestly. And it took forever. I could have, uh, I don't know, done whatever with the salad. Yeah, I could have patted it dry with the towel and got the same effect. So, uh, that's that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep working on these two and we'll see what's what. And we'll see in the next video, guys. We're going to hopefully make Sarah a birthday card with this. That was the whole reason I got it. So hopefully I can get it to work. We will try it again, and I'll keep you posted on that. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. I will put the links below for anything that's still available on Timu. Please be careful when you're handling your die cuts because cut they do. And that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.